What's up guys? Malin Maths here and let's get started with ratios. So we've got a nice question from OCR here and it says that white paint and red paint is mixed in the ratio of 2 to 3. So we've got 2 to 3 and that is white paint and red paint. And uh, Maria makes a total of 15 litres of paint. So let's just focus on that first. So the way of doing this is work out how many parts you have all together. So it's two and three. So we've got two plus three parts all together, which is five parts. Then get the amount, which is 15 litres, and divide it by the amount of parts, which is divided by five, and that gives us three. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, times, we're going to multiply um, both of these numbers by three. So we have times this by three and we have times this by three. So two times three is six and three times three is nine. So if we write it as a ratio of six to nine, which is the same as the ratio of two to three, six plus nine equals the 15 in the question. So we have six liters of white paint and we've got nine liters of red paint. So we're not that interested for now about the, we're not that interested at all about the amount of red paint because looking at the next part of the question, we're looking at the um, white paint really because we have, let's have a look at the next part of the question. So we, uh, how much more red paint does she need to add to the mixture so that the ratio of white paint to red paint becomes one to five. So let's focus on the white paint first of all. Now at the moment we have um, six litres of uh, white paint and uh, this ratio one to five is not very helpful for us um, because we know we've on the other part or we actually have six litres. So what I'm going to do is just write that ratio one to five and we're just going to convert it so that it reflects the amount of white paint that we have. So going to uh, times whoops uh, times both sides by six so that I have and I should really write white paint and red paint up here to remind me which is which so we do one times six which is six and five times six which is 30 so we have six liters of white paint to every 30 liters of red paint so you can see here that we've moved from uh, having six liters of red paint to needing 30 liters of red paint. So looking at that, um, how much more red paint do we need to add? Well, we need to add uh, one liter to get to 10 liters and then another 20 to get to 30 liters. So we need to add 21 liters. And really what we should do is show the working out. So all we've done there is 30 take away nine, which equals 21. So the answer would be 21 liters. All right, so we've got AQA's offering now, which is well, quite a common question now. These didn't used to be that as common, but they seem to come up quite a lot. Where well, you've got two ratios and you need to um, write another ratio based on the two ratios given. And the uh, most important thing with this kind of question is to um, visualize it, try and understand what it, it, information given to us. So what I like to do with these is just have our big ratio written like this. So we want to get E to F to G, because if we have E to F to G, then we can work out what E to G is uh, as a ratio. And so I'm going to just get my tram lines in there as well. Okay, let's see the two parts of the question that we're given. So the first one is E to F, which is 2 to 3. So we're going to put 2 to 3 in there. Okay. And the next part is F to G, which is 5 to 4. So we're going to put that in. Whoops. So 5 to 4. Okay. Now, looking at the F column, uh, we've got one ratio which has three parts F and the other ratio which has five parts F. So we need to find um, a amount uh, that is compatible with both of those, which will be a multiple of both of those. 
So to try and think of a nice easy number that's a multiple of 3 and 5, well the first, uh, the lowest common multiple would be 15. So we want to get those both so that they equal 15. Now to do that, what we're going to have to do to the top one is we're going to have to uh, times both of them by 5. So times both of them by 5. And what we're going to get there is 3 times 5 is 15, so that works nicely. And 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, looking at the other one, I'm going to have to times that by 3 and times that by 3. So 5 times 3 is 15, and 4 times 3 is 12. So if we just ignore that f, um, instead of writing it 10 to 15 to 12, we can just write it 10 to 12. Simple as that. Or you might think you do that. However, obviously, we've ignored a part of the question that says, give your answer in its simplest form. So it's not going to be 10 to 12, get rid of that, because we know that we can cancel that down. So if we divide both of those by 2, it becomes 5, and we're ignoring the middle one, so just 5 to 6. Oh, easy. Okay, so we move on to our final question, which is Edexcel's offering. Now, Edexcel absolutely surpassed himself with this question because it looks so complicated. And if you break it down, like with any decent maths question, it's actually pretty simple step by step by step. It's just when they've put this question and they've put everything all together, well, there's a reason it's question 14 on a higher paper, just because there's so much going on. So the best strategy for a question like this is just break it down. Just try and figure out what you can figure out. <laughs> try and write down what you can figure out. Okay, and the, the main uh, starting point for me for this question is this one here. So we're looking at white shapes to black shapes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at the white shapes here. And I'm just going to look at the black shapes over here. Okay, so I'm just going to do this question completely separately, and I can even um, draw a nice line down the middle of the page just so I can completely separate my working out. Okay, so it says that the um, ratio of white shapes to black shapes is 3 to 7, and the important thing to know with ratios is that you can actually get a fraction from them. So we want to work out the fraction that are white. So what we do is we put the amount of parts that are white, which is 3, over the total amount of parts. So don't put it over 7, because there's 10 parts altogether, 3 plus 7, 10. So the fraction of white is 3 over 10. And we can do the same with the black while we're here. So if the fraction of white is 3 over 10, obviously black's going to be 7 over 10. OK. Now, we're going to look at the second part of this, and we're just going to focus on the white bit for this. So we've got white circles to white squares is 4 to 5. So now we can work out what the fraction of uh, white that are circles. So the fraction of whites that are circles is going to be, well, 4, because there's 4 parts white, and it, there's 9 overall, similar to the last one. It's not 4 over 5, it's 4 over 9. Now, you might think that that's just it, 4 over 9, but those are of the whites, uh, of the white shapes in total. Okay, so they're not just 4 ninths are white circles, no. 4 ninths of the whites are circles. And that's going to be really important for us to understand because to get the uh, fraction of white circles, only 3 tenths of the shapes are white. 
So four over nine is the amount uh, is the fraction of whites that are circle, and three over ten are the amount or the fraction, sorry, the fraction of the shapes that are white. So to find out the fraction of white circles, all we do is we times them together. Three over ten times four over nine. So we have times the tops, which is twelve, times the bottom, which is ninety, and we can cancel that down to 2 over 15. Okay, so we halved it and then divided top and bottom by 3. Okay, now we move on to the um, blacks. And it says that the ratio of black circles, black squares is 2 to 5. Okay, so fraction of black that our circle equals, and so it's two parts white, uh, ooh, yeah, it's two parts circle, two parts circle, uh, and there's seven in total, so two over seven. And we do the same thing here, okay, so fraction of black circles and that's going to be 7 over 10 because that's the fraction of black shapes times 2 over 7 because that's the uh, fraction of black shapes that are circle and so times the tops which is 14 times the bottoms which is 70 and then ooh, let's have a think we can cancel that down to 1 fifth and you can half top and bottom, and then you can divide top and bottom by seven, and that gets you there. Okay, so we've got the um, fraction uh, of white circles. So two fifths of the shapes are white circles. One fifth of the shape are black circles. And so for a lot of people, it's kind of a 50-50 chance. But if you think about it logically, if you say, right, all the white circles go on this pile and it's two fifths of them and you say all right all the black circles go on this pile and it's one fifth of them to get the combined like the the whole thing let's just rub this bit out a bit here because we don't need that anymore to get the combined bit all we need to do is add them together so fraction fraction of uh, what is it? A fraction of circles, isn't it? What we're looking for is going to be the two fifteenths that are white plus the one fifth that are black. Now, to add fractions, you need uh, the denominators to be the same. So we're going to make both the denominators going to be fifteen, and then you just add the tops. So it becomes five over fifteen. If I just scroll down, uh, and then you can divide top and bottom by five, so that becomes one third. Well, I hope that uh, video was helpful. This was a bit of a step up from our previous couple of videos, a little bit more of a difficult topic. There are huge amounts of questions on ratios. I did not have to look very hard to find um, questions on this. Um, decent questions come up uh, actually quite a lot as well. Um, so this is a topic, ratios, that it really pays to, to really understand because uh, all the exam boards seem to be really, really um, in on ratios. Um, if you uh, want more content from us, if you want to practice this yourself, go to our website now on maths.com and uh, everything there is free and you can even sign up to get access to uh, your data and access to summer school so you can save your scores and analyze your results and do all that good stuff and I'll see you tomorrow